Hello, and welcome to my awesome health journey. I am Brett Dupree. This is my awesome health journey. Today I want to talk about um, body perception. So yesterday was my birthday and I did my birthday burn, celebrated Orange Theory, which is fun because you're like, yay, it's your birthday and you get to feel good and celebrated. Um, especially if you just, let's say hypothetically, after COVID kind of just stop getting in contact with your friends and you don't really hang out as much. And so it's just nice to have someone celebrate you on your birthday. Even though I probably could have just asked my friends to like, hey, you want to go to a bar? Are you guys available? Maybe, And they probably would have came out. But I just don't do that. I'm very bad at um, connecting with people and keeping in touch. That's not one of my skills. Well, anyway, uh, so I took a picture with uh, my f favorite trainer there. I'm not trainer. She's, a, she's one of the sales associates. And she's been, you know... Always encourage me. She's like the main, my main contact person. You know, it's, each person probably has a main contact person, or she just has been mine, and she always encourages me. And so last year we took a picture on my birthday, and this year we took a picture on my birthday. And uh, the interesting part was for me is I put on Facebook the comparison of the two pictures, like what a difference a year makes. And for myself, I think of it more as a uh, internal difference and uh kind of a structural difference because i feel better but honestly i don't think i look better i don't think i look that much different last year is a fat tub of goo and this year i'm a fat tub of goo um honestly still kind of frustrated with the lack of weight loss over the last year because i was hoping to at least be under 400 pounds or close to it now compared to last year i was like 470 so I was hoping to be around 420, 410, uh, if not under 400, because that's just, in my humble opinion, a lot of weight. I mean, I'm still too fat to play, to uh, compare myself to football players. I want to be able to say I'm a nose tackle, right? But anyways, uh, so so looking at myself, like especially at first, I couldn't really notice the difference. But the funny thing is, I noticed a complete difference with uh, the, the trainer person, the the, the person who took the picture with me like you could see how much work she's put into her i could see how much work she's put into her body and how like she i'm not saying a different person but she put in a lot of work and it really shows and so i was talking to my sister for my birthday my sister and my other sister were nice enough to call me and we we're talking for like an hour and 40 minutes which is awesome i love my sisters uh they're great they're great people and uh my uh, sister, Tasha, has said, like, uh, my transformation has been amazing. And, like, so, like, she can just look at the two pictures and tell a difference. And it's just interesting how, like, I can't tell a difference, really. As I said, it's just two big fat sacks of crap. Um, you know, probably not too off with how much crap is probably in my large intestines. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends on the day with this Ozempic stuff. Some days I probably have a lot of crap. Some days I probably add a crap. Because holy crap, sometimes everything comes out. Well, anyways, that's probably too much poop talk for this video. Uh, what I'm saying is, like, it is really hard to see. Um, I mean, number one, there's that internal how you look in your head thing. And plus, number two, you just look in the mirror every day. And unless the change is dramatic, uh, it's hard to see. But I know there has been changes, as I've mentioned before, my, my stomach, then the fat underneath there, and the fat in between the pelvis and the stomach, I have a little pooch there, and those don't touch my steering wheel anymore, which makes me happy. Um, and I could just tell, like, sometimes I look at videos, I was, uh, Instagram was showing my year in review of my stories, and mostly stories are things that share from TikTok, but last February, which is, what, six months ago, I shared this video about how I was able to work out four times in a row, four, t four times in a week, I mean, at Orange Theory, which was the first time I was able to do that, and, like, I could see just my face was bigger in that than what I see now, I mean, yeah. So, if I really look at it and squint and obsess about it, not obsess, but if I really look at it, I can see a difference. In fact, if I notice the picture, I'm kind of like angling myself to try to hide my big stomach. In this one, I'm more proud of 
my well big stomach and I can see my arms a little bit uh, I can see it here I think my man boobs are a little smaller um, I think those are bigger it's harder to see my face because in the uh, original one again I was wearing a mask and it was mid-workout so I didn't take my mask off to take the picture but I don't know if I would have because that was still early in my workout where I was super out of shape and scared of COVID um, but you know I worked out yesterday with a mask and took it off to take the pictures because hmm, I'll take some risk, right? It's not, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I can see some of it, um, but I have to really look at it, right? I can't just casually see a difference. So it's just interesting how that is. But as I said, you know, here am I dressed, ready to work out again at 11.15. Um, and yeah, so for the most part... I guess that's just what I want to talk about is um, not really seeing a difference, but having people, you know, tell me there's a difference. So if you, yeah, if you see a difference, tell me. You have my permission to tell me. Um, I understand it is kind of weird. Um, and be specific, I think. Um, yeah, be specific. I, I guess I don't like when people just tell me, I generally look smaller, I guess. I don't know. I guess don't comment it on it all the time. I guess it's weird. But especially if I share something or like on these videos, if you notice the difference. Maybe just not mention it randomly in real life if you see me. Because <laughs> that feels, unless I'm in the headspace of talking about it, it can be kind of just weird feeling. But if I'm like at, a, at the gym, you know, and you're like, notice the difference. Yeah, tell me. That helps. Um, if I'm in these videos, you notice the difference in my face. Tell me. That's awesome. Um, if you notice, like, less fat here somehow. Uh, I still want to get my arms down. Especially this. I'm trying to take up my blood pressure every day, but it's hard to get the cuff on. I don't know if I'm getting an accurate reading. Because if I'm getting an accurate reading, my blood pressure at home is, like, ten points lower than at the um, doctor's office. But, anyway... Let's just talk about, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. I mean, I keep on telling people I've never worked this hard for such little results. But, you know, I am still getting results. I am still pushing forward. I am still I'm still feeling better and better and better. And that, that's the um, important part, right? Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's what I will say on that. Um, love you. You're amazing. And you're beautiful just the way you are.